name is Karen Astrup, and I would like to welcome you today to the Get That Tight Touche workout. This is all about training our behind, but as always in my workouts, we include the whole body. Before we get started, I would like to introduce you my good friends, Henriette here, who's going to show the advanced versions of the exercise, and my good friend Heidi, who's going to show you the beginner's version of the exercises. Let's get started with a little warm-up, and we're going to start with side steps, engaging our arms. Nice. Let's do this a few more times and then move into squats. Five, four, three, two, and stop at the center and squat down. Come with me, lower yourself. Make sure you have your heels anchored in each squat. Get your butt out and really work your booty right from the start. We're moving into leg curls after three, two, and the last one. So here, leg curl, lower yourself. Leg curl, good. Legs, nice. Two more, last one. And let me see side lunges. Lunge out to the side, come up, side, come up. You see, I've designed it workout so that even in our warm-up, we're in including work for our butt. Five more, very good. Three and two, and the last one. And let's just roll our shoulders here before we're gonna bring up a little heavier weight and get ready for lunches. So you guys take the heavier weight and put your right leg in front of you and let your, your the weights hang alongside your body and we're gonna do lunches up and down. Ready? Down and come up. Maintain a strong straight back and engage your abs. Nice. And did you know that if you lean a little forward as you lunge, we activate our glute muscles even more. This is very important that we keep a straight spine. Three more, two, and one. Come up to center here with me. And we're not finished with our lunges because we're gonna alternate rear lunges with the weights on our shoulders. Ready, starting with our right leg stepping backwards. Down, and come up with me. Back. Now, as we put the weights on our shoulders, we also activate our triceps. And if it's too heavy for you to hold your weights up here, you can have them alongside your body. Nice. Five more, four, three, good, two, and the last one, come up to center, take the weights down and shift to a lighter weight because we're gonna do flies. So here, if you're a beginner, let one leg rest here. I'll show you here, when my right leg grounded, we're gonna lift our left leg you can let it be grounded. If you're more advanced, check out what we're doing here, like Henriette is doing. Come on one leg, keep a strong core, and we fly out and slowly come in. Press your shoulder blades together here in the back, and fly out. Maintain that strong core for balance. You guys go on here, and I'm gonna show you a more advanced version here that Henriette is gonna demonstrate. Now, as she is pulling her legs, uh, arms out, her leg is out. And as her arms come in, she's gonna pull her leg in and then stretch out. Beautiful. This is activating 
her core even more, her glutes, and she's really challenging her balance. Fantastic. Give me three more. Three, nice. And two. And the last one. Come down. And you may now keep the same weight or change to a heavier weight. And we're going to do squats with a pivot and a shoulder press. Let me demonstrate. Keep the weights here. You squat down and you pivot and you reach your arm towards the ceiling. Here we go. Now, we're not only working our lower body, but we also work our shoulders and our back. Very good. A few more here. Five, four, three, two, and one. Can we get the weights here on our shoulders and come down into a squat and step from side to side. And during this exercise, it's so important that you keep your heels grounded, your butt out, and are not doing this on your toes. Nice. This is so hard. We are suffering right now. And we're gonna do this for five, four, three, woo -hoo, two, and the very last one. And nice, come up. Get the weights down. And let's come down to the floor and isolate some work on our glutes. Nice. So, let's start with our left leg. And here, we're also gonna activate our back muscles. So we're gonna go, uh, alternate, take one arm, so you take your left leg and your right arm, and reach out, and pull it in, and reach out, pull it in. Now I want you to have a beautiful, neutral spine. Let me see here. No resting on your lower spine. So you want to elongate. Imagine that somebody is pulling you in your toes and your long fingers in the opposite walls. Beautiful. Give me two more. And I would like you for you to come up and hold. Here, hold. Hold here. And we're going to pulse upwards. Pulse up. Arms and legs up. Up, nice, perfect. Go, go, squeeze your glute at the top and can you feel how this is really targeting both here and on the opposite uh, side where you're, which leg you're standing on? Good, five more, four, very good. Three and two and the last one. Come down here now. If you're a beginner, pay attention to Heidi. She's gonna keep both her hands grounded. If you're more advanced, we're gonna take our right hand and our left leg, <laughs> left leg and move to the side. Heidi is showing beginner's version, so she's only moving the leg to the side. And reach. This is so hard. It's burning in our glutes. And here we're also activating our obliques and our abdominals. Now really try to keep your leg high. Give me three more here. Three, very good. Two, you can do this. And the last one. Oh God, I'm so, oh, sweaty. Okay, we're not finished with our left leg because we have this one still. Take your left leg, bend it, and kick it up to the sky with the bent leg. 90 degree angle in the knee. And kick up and slowly come down. Awesome, you guys. You're doing excellent work. And we're so targeting right what we want today. The behind. Yes. Squeeze. Give me five more, and we're going to come up and hold and pulse. Nice. 
three, woohoo, two, very good, one, come up and hold here with me and pulse, pulse, flex your foot, good, go, go, a little more, a little more, let it burn, that sensational feeling, that's so good and what we want, five, four, three, very good, two, and one, oh, calm down, ooh, short, short break, before we go into the final exercise here in this, on the mat for here, on this side, and we're going up again after this, so let's do this rotation here now. This is good for the mobility of our hip, and yes, we're working the glutes. Five more circles, very good, four, three, two, and one. Nice. We're moving in, moving up, I would like to say, into lunges again. Take up a fairly heavy weight, and this time, we put our left leg forward. Let the weights hang alongside your body. Are you with me, guys? Good, and you're ready to? We're starting off with lunges up and down. Ready, down and up. Good. Now really squeeze your glute at the top. You can help yourself make this exercise harder by squeezing your glute at the top. Nice. And leaning a little bit forward, help us target the glutes even more. Just keep the straight spine. Nice. Five, four, three, woohoo, two, you can do this. One, come up to the top, put your weights on your shoulders and get ready for rear lunges alternating. Let's start with our right, left leg, okay? Down and come up. Ooh. And again, you may let your weights hang alongside your body if this is too heavy for you. We're holding them here to activate our triceps as we lunge as well. Five more, five, four, three, two, and one. Very nice. Reach down and we're right into the flies, putting the weight on our left leg this time. Nice. Take a little lighter weight, you guys. And come up here with me. If you're a beginner, you may have one leg in the ground. Heidi, you can come on here with us now and let your top leg off the ground. And Henriette, me, let me see you pulling in your leg right from the start. You ready? And pull it in and we're starting. Fly out. Exhale. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Stretch out, lean a little forward. Engage your abs for balance. Exhale. Five more here. Four, three, two, and one. Absolutely lovely. Change weight. If you feel strong, we're right into the squat with the pivot. Here is the shoulder press. I'm taking the heavier weight and let's get started. We're squatting down here and we reach up to the right. There we go to the left and we're up. Exhale. Remember to keep your heels anchored. It's so important for our knees. And you want to push the weight slightly ahead of you towards the ceiling. Five more. Five. 
Four, very good. Three, two, and one. Oh, we're not finished. We have to come down into this squat. Ooh, this is the last time we're doing it. Ready, sidestep. I know it's burning, I know it's hard, but it's what we want. And it has to feel like this to get the results that we want. Go, go. Come on, get your butt down, Heidi. Lower, lower. Five, four, three. Yes, you two. And one. And come up. Woo! Fantastic. Put the weights down and let's come down to the floor and work a little bit on our abs. So, what we're starting off here now is the plank exercise. And I want us to move back and forth in this plank to change this ability a little bit. If you're a beginner, you do this on your knees. Pay attention to Heidi. More advanced on your toes. This is killing me right now. I'm exhausted, but we can do it. Are you with me, girls? And we're gonna move forward here. Down, low butt. Move forward and back again. Nice, move forward and back. Now don't let yourself hang on your lower back. You want to be strong and tight in your lower abdominals. Move five and back. Four and three and two. And the last one. Come down on your knees. And we're gonna come down and do crunches. Almost through. We're gonna do crisscross crunches, alternating side to side. You with me here? So I would like for you to have your feet in a tabletop position. Very nice, you guys. And start here now, raising yourself to your left. So, okay, <laughs> to the left. So kick up and down, same side. Left, raise to the left, nice. Exhale, exhale. Now, when we do this, it's important, let me come and see here, that you keep your legs right off your hips. So they are in a vertical line off your hips. Your knees are in a 90 degree angle. Good, two more. Nice, and the last one. And here I would like for you to do alternating crisscross and if you can, if you're a beginner, you can keep your legs just like you have them there in a tabletop. Advanced, stretch out the alternating legs. So you keep one bent, and as you crisscross, you stretch the leg out. Nice. Come in and exchange. Stretch it out. Good. Perfect. This is awesome work. You guys rock. Fantastic. Kick it out. Exhale. Lift. Nice. Give me five more. Five, four, and three, and two, and the very last one. Beautiful. Okay, so let's move into the last exercise, and we're gonna do the opposite crunch here as well. Oh, perfect. So go slowly down, and lace yourself, and slowly come down. Beautiful position with your legs in tabletop, meaning your legs are coming right off your, your hip like this in a 90 degree angle with your legs. Give me five more, excellent work. Five, four, three, beautiful, two, and the very last one. So let's move into the last set of exercises here. 
We have to come down on all fours here and work our right leg. So, again, take one, take your left hand and your right leg and pull it in and stretch out and pull it in here and stretch out. Again, imagine that you have two cords pulling you in each direction from your long finger in your hand and in your toes for the wall. Five more here, four, three, two, and one. Come up and hold for me and let's pulse up, up, up. Now we're really engaging our whole back, our whole glute muscles. And this is so hard. And we're not even through yet. Four more, three, two, and one. Come and hold here. And remember, if you're a beginner, you're allowed to take down your hand because now we're gonna move the leg and the arm to the side. Try to keep your leg as high as possible. The higher we keep the leg, the more we target our glutes and we activate our abdominals. Get the arm out and slowly back. Be controlled and strong. Nice. Five. Woohoo. Four. Three. And two. Last one here, and just a few more exercises, and we're through. Take the right leg and kick up the sky like this, and come slowly down. Up, and slowly down. Maintain that 90 degree angle in your knee, and kick, and kick. Five more before we're gonna come up and hold and pulse. Three and two, very good. One, come up and hold and pulse, pulse. Really, 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 oh, it's burning, it's killing me, this is so hard. I hope you feel it as much as I do right now. Five, four, three, two, and one, come down, and let's start off with circling the leg here, guys. Come with me right away, no pause, no pause. Almost through, circle, circle. Ooh, can we do five more here? Four, three, two, and one. Fantastic work. Sit down here with me. Oh, and let's stretch the touche a little bit. Yes. Put one leg over the other here. Please stretch out the opposite leg and then rotate. You guys did so well today. This is so hard and we've got a great workout for our whole body. We work the right spots, the right areas that we want improvement. Let's change legs and do the opposite side. I hope you feel that you have done an excellent job for yourself. Try to do this a few times a week, combining maybe with other exercises and you will for sure see results. You guys behind me feel okay too? You've done great. I'm very proud of you. Come on and sit here in this diamond shape with me and press it, your legs out. Can you put your feet together? Nice. Ooh, this is tough and tight. Thank you so much for following us today. You've done an excellent job and we look forward to seeing you next time. Give yourself an applause.